Hi, I'm Lukas, and today I want to show you how you can easily inspect fits using the envelope principle. Let's go! Fits are often used when parts are assembled. In technical drawings, fits can usually be recognized by the E in a circle after the actual dimension, such as this inside diameter 25 here. In this case, the nominal dimension is 25 mm and the H10 is a tolerance of 84 micrometers. The E in the circle indicates that this dimension should be inspected using the envelope principle. Unlike conventional sizes, the envelope principle treats the two ends of the tolerance differently. One end is an ideal envelope corresponding to the geometrical counterpart and the other end is inspected using a two-point size. Which end is inspected by which method depends on whether it's an inside or an outside diameter. So, let's take a quick look at these cases before jumping into the software. Okay, so let's have a look at case 1. The envelope principle on an outside diameter, for example a shaft. Here's our drawing, it's a shaft with a diameter of 15 mm and the JS10 fit tolerance. And as a reminder, the E in the circle requires the envelope principle. So, how is this inspected? Here's our measured part, and as you can see, it's not a perfect cylinder. And as I said before, one check is an ideal envelope, in this case it's the minimum circumscribed element GN. If you want to assemble your shaft, GN should be smaller than the maximum material size. In this case it's the upper end of the tolerance, where the shaft is largest. The second check is the local two-point size LP. So every two-point size on our measured cylinder should be bigger than our minimum material size. In this case the lower end of the tolerance, where the shaft is the smallest. If both checks are OK, GN smaller than the upper end, LP bigger than the lower end of the tolerance, the envelope principle is fulfilled. Now let's have a look at the second case. The envelope principle of an inner diameter, in this case a borehole. It had a diameter of 25 mm and a tolerance of H10. This should be also checked using the envelope principle. Our measured borehole is also not perfect, and like the shaft, the first check is the envelope, but in this case it's the maximum inscribed element GX. GX should be bigger than our maximum material size, in this case the lower end of the tolerance. And as you can already guess, the second check is the two-point size LP, so every LP on our cylinder should be smaller than the minimum material size, in this case the upper end of the tolerance. And again, if both checks are OK, JX bigger than the lower end, LP smaller than the upper end, the envelope principle is fulfilled. Luckily, in size inspect, if you want to inspect the envelope principle, you don't have to decide which end of tolerance must be inspected by GN or GX. So let's take a look. Okay. Here we see our CAD, the part has already been scanned and aligned to the CAD via the pre-alignment. We now want to inspect this small cylinder as well as the larger borehole according to the drawing. Now to inspect the envelope principle we simply use our I inspect, then click on dimensions envelope principle, then holding down the control key we select our cylinder and with right click we finish the element creation. Now we could either set the tolerance manually or look for the right tolerance table. In this case it's the ISO 286 and the tolerance class is our JS10. Okay. We now do the same for the borehole. Again we select GDNT quick creation, dimensions envelope principle and select our borehole and with a right click, and this time the tolerance class is H10. OK. And as already mentioned, we now get two different sizes for each element. It is important to know that for a borehole, the maximum material size, in this case the maximum inscribed element, is the lower check. The minimum material size is the upper check, that's a two-point size. And as we can see, the two-point size is not within tolerance, so the drawing requirements are not fulfilled. In the case of the cylinder, the lower dimension is the minimum material size, that's the two-point size. The upper dimension is the maximum material size, in this case a minimum circumscribed element. This check also fails because the cylinder is too small. 
In addition, we could check the envelope principle manually. In this case, the respective limit would only have to be changed to the corresponding calculation method. For example, we go over our GDNT free creation, linear size, and in the case of the borehole, we change our lower limit to maximum inscribed element. And as we can see, the results are the same. Okay, now you know what the envelope principle is and how to check it in size inspect. As we have seen, the inspection via the GDNT quick creation is super easy and the correct calculation methods are automatically applied. Have fun using the software and see you next time.